Hi everyone, I'm Adam Levine, Assistant Curator of European Art at the Art Gallery of Ontario. And I'm Monique Johnson, Interim Assistant Curator of European Art, and we hope you're all keeping well. We're at home, working on a research project on our newest acquisition, Portrait of a Lady Holding an Orange Blossom. When we purchased the painting in January 2020, we knew that the painting was important, beautiful, and that it belonged in our collection. It also raises intriguing questions. While we don't yet know who painted the work, who the subject is, where she's standing, or what circumstances led to the making of the portrait, we can work with the painting and with experts all around the world to explore these questions. Over the next several weeks, we're going to let you behind the scenes to learn more about what we do as curators, the questions we're asking, and the experts we're talking to, to help unpack some of this painting's mysteries. The portrait is incredible. The artist has painted an elegant young woman wearing a luxurious blue silk gown, decorated with intricate and beautifully rendered lace. The figure presents herself with confidence and grace as she holds our gaze. She stands outdoors, holding an orange blossom in one hand and the apron of her skirt in the other. She's positioned standing next to a potted orange tree, and behind her is an architectural element a clearing, and what looks like an obelisk or a fountain. The sky above is dark and cloudy, with passages of intense blue peeking through. Based on the technique and style of the work, it's clearly the work of an artist trained in Europe. In the history of European art from the 1700s, there are so few single portraits of women of color. In episodes to come, we will look at the painting's condition and materials. We'll look at the subject's dress and jewelry, and the landscape, and we'll work together with experts on gender, race, and global history to tell you more. We hope you'll enjoy the journey.